In this video, I've got a theme that I want to share with you. It's called Rookie, and it could possibly be the best WordPress theme for a content site that I've found. Maybe that's a little bit too strong, um, but it is a really good theme. And I recently switched the theme on knowledgeablemind.com, which is a website that I purchased a little while back. And yeah, it came with a pretty manky theme on it. So I switched it over to Rookie, and I've been really pleased with the results. So in this very short video, I just wanna take you through what the theme is like and what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here. Hope you're all keeping well. So yeah, the theme is called Rookie. It's available to buy on Theme Forest for $59. I'm gonna put a link up in a card now. You'll also find links to everything I talk about in the description. There are affiliate links, so I will earn a commission if you use them. Thank you very much if you do. So I recently installed Rookie onto knowledgeablemind.com, which is a website that I purchased a little while back. I'm trying to flip it, that's the idea. It shows a little bit of potential, that site's already getting traffic, so I'm just you know working on it, wanna clean it up, add more content, and all that kind of stuff. By the way, there will be a video on the entire process uh, once the process is finished. But anyway, I switched the theme from the theme that it was running, which I think was Astra, correct? Which is, of course, a great theme. But I wanted something a little bit simpler. You know, these big themes like Astra, they've got all the bells and all the whistles. Um, and I didn't really need many bells and whistles. I just wanted a theme that was clean and easy to use and just, you know, showed off content in its best possible light. And yeah it looked like Rookie would you know, tick all those boxes. If you're interested in the entire process of switching the theme, I actually did it live on one of the Thursday afternoon chill out streams, which it'd be great to see you on one of those, basically on a Thursday, sometimes on a Friday, depending on what I'm up to. I go live and just kind of do some work on a site or maybe do some keyword research, maybe prepare an article, and yeah, just hang out with you guys while I'm doing it and you know, take questions, and whatever, it's fun, it's fun. But yeah, I switched to Rookie during one of these streams. So yeah, if you wanna watch the entire thing, you can obviously watch the streams now. Um, I'll put a link up now in the card and of course it'll be in the description. So yeah, I switched the theme. I've gotta say that actually I had a few problems switching the theme and I did a kind of dry run before I went live and there was a few little things that were a bit weird with the switch and it actually came down to some of the plugins that were running on the site before I switched. Uh, like Elementor was, was interfering with it for some reason. So I guess that's a little tip there. If you are gonna switch themes, um, it's probably best to turn off your plugins, um, especially ones that you're not using or any page builders that might not work with your new theme. That should you know, make the process a bit smoother. So I've had the theme up and running for a few weeks now and well, let me just go through what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's start with what I like about it. I love the look and feel of this theme. It is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Just look at it. I mean, just look at it, it's beautiful. It works great on a mobile, on a tablet, and it looks great on all of those devices. So, you know, a real winner for this theme is its look. It's just got a lovely, clean design that just is, is so nice on the eyes. Now, I'm in the process of updating a lot of the thumbnails on the site um, to kind of vector graphics, and yeah, they just look really good on this theme. It's actually one of the reasons why I'm changing to vector graphics because the demo content um, that the theme has uses kind of vector thumbnails as well and, and featured images. So that kind of inspired me to use them. And I found a great site called Free Picks. That's what it's called. I'll put a link in the description where you can get loads of cool vector um, images. The next thing that I like about this theme is that it works really well with Gutenberg and that's a good thing. Uh, I haven't really used Gutenberg much, if I'm honest. I know, I know I should because it's the default WordPress editor. Um, I tend to use like Elementor or Thrive or, or anything else apart from Gutenberg. But with this theme, I've kind of embraced Gutenberg and I've been adding my content with it and it's been a joy. It's worked really well. I need to probably spend more time with Gutenberg and kind of unleash its potential. I, I had one look at Gutenberg when it came out and, and didn't like it and I've never really been back. But with this theme, it just works well with Gutenberg. So I've been using it and yeah, I really like it. It's, it's a great way of adding content. Another thing I like about this theme is that it's fast. You know, a lot of themes that have all the bells and the whistles, 
they load a lot of script and, and other stuff and JavaScript and CSS and, and all that other stuff that slows your site down. Whereas this theme, because it's pretty simple, um, it loads really fast, which of course is a great thing. And you know, I've been getting some really good scores um, with this. I've got WP Rocket installed, I should say, which of course gives you an extra boost um, to your speed and your performance. Uh, again, link in the description for WP Rocket. It's an affiliate link, thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm getting some great scores. I'm getting 70 odd on mobile and 80 odd on desktop, and I could probably get even better scores if I actually sized my images to the correct sizes, but I, I haven't. So let's go through a couple of things that I don't like about it. Um, the first is it's a little bit clunky in the back end in terms of the options and how you set stuff up, how you, you know, format your home page, all that kind of thing. There's no visual drag and drop like you'd get in Elementor. You basically do it all through the customizer section of WordPress, which is kind of fine, but it's a little bit techy. You know, it talks about things like loops and, and other stuff. And, and the way you kind of lay stuff out on the homepage has like these blocks. And you say, you know, this block is this, that block is something else and, and put it together that way. It could be a little bit overwhelming if it's your first theme and you haven't really used WordPress much. Yeah, no, it's easier with Elementor or Thrive or any of those where it's very visual and there's templates and you, you just drag stuff in. So yeah, that's, that's one little issue with it. And I've got to say that the documentation that comes with it is, is okay is okay, but you know, if anything doesn't quite go to plan, it's really not gonna help you. Although looking at the support um, threads and tickets and stuff on Theme Forest, it looks like the author is still updating the, the, uh, the theme and you know, replying to support tickets and all that kind of stuff. So, so that's a good thing. But yeah, it takes a little while just to get your head around how to set everything up with this theme. And that really is my biggest problem with it. <laughs> it's the customizer settings and the way it kind of uses these static blocks to set stuff out. You know, it's not been a big problem for me. I, you know, sat down with it for a couple of hours, swore a little bit and managed to figure it out and get it all working. And, you know, once it is all configured and you've got your layout set out for your homepage and your category pages and whatever else you want to do, then you don't really have to worry about any of that stuff. You just got to add your content and it will format it all and, and lay it all out nicely. So that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, I think for a absolute beginner, they may struggle a little bit with the kind of setup of this theme. But that brings us to the end of this video. I just wanted to do a quick brain dump on this theme. And it's been a long time actually since I've bought anything off Theme Forest. Um, but the experience has been pretty good. Kind of what I expected from a Theme Forest theme. They, they have some really good themes, but they're sometimes, as I say, a little bit tricky to set up. Not always as user friendly as they could be. But you know, the the process of buying it from Theme Forest has been fantastic. I used to always buy loads of themes and stuff from Theme Forest. And um, yeah, generally they're pretty good. I'd love to know what you think about the theme. What do you think of the new look on Knowledge or Mind? Do you like it? Um, are you tempted to use the theme for one of your sites? As I said earlier, I think it is one of the best WordPress themes for content and for a kind of content marketing sites because it just shows off your content in such a brilliant way, uh, a simple way and a clear way. But yeah, I'd love to know what you think. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I can. If you like this video, then please let YouTube know that by clicking the like button. That really does help me out. To make sure that you don't miss out on any future content, including live streams, make sure you subscribe and make sure that you've clicked the bell. But anyway, until next time, good luck with your sites. Bye for now.